what's up guys welcome back to another video this is a reaction to british heat waves ain't got nothing on america and yeah i know there's a complete difference in the heat of the two countries i mean if it's 30 degrees in the uk it's considered insanely hot but certain parts of the us 30 degrees in the summer is probably seen as a a nice relaxing day compared to what they have to deal with on a regular basis like places like phoenix i don't know just some place some southern i guess the southern states actually and then I, I just remember checking phoenix specifically let me just see now phoenix arizona it's like 40 plus right phoenix weather oh it's actually 28 degrees oh it's because it's 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 early in the morning for yeah this is what i'm on about 40 degrees every single goddamn day it's oh my god oh my god that is grim the humidity is low which i guess is a difference but is it windy no oh my days <laughs> jesus god damn i've never been anywhere this hot consistently <laughs> oh my days bro i feel bad but at the same time i mean if you're someone who lives in this in this city and you don't have ac i i cannot even begin to uh, explain how sorry i feel for you but i assume if you're from if you're from any u.s city that deals with this kind of temperature i assume you all have ac right where i am now it's nowhere near this hot and it's the middle of the day it's 12 o'clock and it's just gone after it's just gone um afternoon pretty much so yeah the, uh, it's very hot inside because there's no ac it's just annoying man it's draining because it's so humid in this fucking this country so humid you can barely breathe with the flipping thickness of the the air and again my ha my apartment is literally built to keep heat in so it's not great but from seeing that i do definitely have a bit of perspective on the differences of temperature because i feel like if it ever even gets to 40 degrees in the uk that's I mean, let me just see. I know this is a long intro, but I want to see. Temperature in UK last year. Okay, so the hottest temperature in the UK was July 2022, and it was 40 degrees Celsius. <laughs> One time. What's been the hottest year? 2022 was the hottest year. um that is some context oh this is the hottest days in the uk i said yeah it was last year 2019 38 degrees this is this is ever i think oh my god <laughs> flipping hell but again our houses our environment is not built for it anyway i don't know why i'm talking so long for this intro heat waves are related to the temperature as well so that's kind of the context but we're going to jump into this i'm just rambling at this point my head's gone but yeah let's jump into this the year was 1913 the place death valley and this was not the beginning of a vampire novel 55 degrees right hello i'm lawrence and i'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that britain and america lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to heat waves both countries have experienced their fair share of them over the centuries as someone who orbited the sun 26 times while living in britain i vaguely recall some of my homelands i say vaguely because the thing about heat waves is that they don't linger in the memory like a blizzard or a hurricane they don't it's yield true. shaky youtube videos or michael bay set pieces they're just a period of perspirational misery in 2006 britain experienced its hottest ever july with the thermometer soaring to what I thought was a quite ridiculous 99 degrees Fahrenheit. One night, my wife and I camped out in my brother's living room in London. What happened next was a lesson in why you should never sleep on a blow-up mattress atop a flat in 99 degree heat in a country where AC is fiction. Rumour has it that our sweat still haunts the ceiling. But what is a heat wave? A heat wave is not just a case of hot weather. If it was, the southern US would be embroiled in perpetual summer heat wave, with temps often reaching what on earth degrees Fahrenheit. No, a heat wave is a period of heat relative to the usual temperature of a place or season. So when measurements exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Britain, as they did in Cambridge last year, it's definitely a heat wave. And I know that because this has only happened twice in the nation's history. In parts of the US, it's an annual tradition and will only become more frequent this century. Even while living toward the Great Lakes, I've encountered the dreaded three digits more than once. 
Between this and America's extreme winters, there's a reason I miss British weather. After all, British heat waves ain't got nothing on America. If you don't believe me, let's take a look at a selection of America's greatest heats. While not the hottest, this heat wave is notable for its persistence. In July and August of 1896, it impacted several popular cities such as New York, Boston and Chicago over a period of 10 days. And this is also before AC was a thing as well, so they really had to go through the depths of hell with this heat wave. That's 24 hours longer than Michelle Phillips was married to Dennis Hopper. During those 10 days, the temperatures in those cities remained above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, even at night. Worse still, the humidity was about 90%, and this was in the oh days before God. Aircon and Ben and & Jerry's Chunky Monkey. Before entering into a bet with William Howard Taft over who could rock the best presidential facial hair, Teddy Roosevelt was New York City Police Commissioner. During the heat wave, he dished out ice creams to residents, which leads me to think he might have missed his true calling in life. To my mind, the world was truly robbed of mustachio-flavoured ice cream. God, that sounds like hell. 90 degrees, no sorry, 90% humidity, and then there's that temperature as well. That is not fair. Just as 2020 feels like a runaway train that's devoured 12 bottles of Dennis Hopper, 1936 felt the same way but in black and white. America was in the throes of its worst ever depression, the Dust Bowl continued to engulf the Great Plains, and the nation endured one of its worst heat waves in modern history. The year's one bright spark was when Olympian Jesse Owens stormed to four gold medals in front of German Chancellor and ardent snowflake Adolf Hitler. Oh, but even as that was happening, temperatures in multiple states had exceeded 100 degrees for more than 10 consecutive days. State records had to be rewritten. To this day, 13 states have yet to best the records they set in the summer of 1936. What? This includes North Dakota, where temperatures soared to a high of 121 degrees. Can you just do the conversion? Because... Let's see. Fahrenheit to Celsius. Again. So 121. Just to get a bit of context. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, was, it, was AC common at this point either? I don't know. Nationwide, more than 5,000 Americans died due to the heat. Wow. Crop devastation was widespread, and it just happened to follow one of the coldest winters in US history. To this day, two states have yet to best the records they set in February 1936. This includes North Dakota, where temperatures plummeted to minus 60 degrees. 1936, kicking North Dakota's ass since 1936. So in the same year, they've reached the high temperatures and then the low. Oh my days, bro, these poor people. You can't prepare for which because it gets stupid hot and then stupid cold. Is the US, in terms of extreme weather, is it the worst place to be? Especially like in the, like maybe the northern states because they get really hot, but they get really damn cold as well. It's like the complete contrast. Is there other countries that have the same? I mean, I don't know because other countries just stay hot pretty much all the time or you got india where there's like monsoon season so it's like insane insane amounts of rain and it's obviously really hot there at certain points as well but flipping hell man i'm so thankful i don't have to deal with that level of difference in temperature in the early 50s, Gene Kelly was singing in the rain. This would have been a huge kick in the teeth to people in the central United States because a persistent and record-setting heat wave was wreaking havoc there. Some areas experienced worse drought than during the Dust Bowl. In 1954, the year of Dennis Hopper's first television appearance, 11 states endured 22 days of 100-plus weather and the Super Soaker oh 50 was days. still the stuff of a madman's dreams. In July of that year, my current state of Illinois recorded its highest ever temperature with the thermometer reaching 117 degrees in east st louis rumor has it that microbes are still hiding under eats bridge to this day 64 this is not an actual heat wave right? this is a motown hit by martha and the vandellas yeah it's a great song but we don't have the rights to it can we skip to 88 thanks 
<laughs> what the fuck? In America, 1988 is remembered less for its heat wave and more for the droughts it exacerbated. It's also remembered by me for an unusual lack of Dennis Hopper films and the line, Senator, you're no Jack Nicholson. I think I dreamt that one. But the weather that year was no laughing matter. Weather stations recorded an unprecedented number of days between precipitation in many parts of the Midwest. In the spring, Milwaukee endured 55 days without rain or snow, a phenomenal feat for anyone who's Mil been to Milwaukee. Milwaukee had no snow and rain for 55 days. I mean, I'm not going to say I know a load about Milwaukee, but isn't that that's like one of the most northern cities in the US? I know, obviously, it's not going to be snowy all year round, but 55 days, somewhere like Milwaukee without any snow or rain. I'm mainly focusing on rain because snow, obviously, it's probably just winter time. Maybe a bit after as well, but that's ridiculous. At its worst, the drought covered almost half the nation. Forest fires ran rampant, most notably at Yellowstone National Park, which suffered the largest in its history. Oh, wow. The event led to one of the worst dust migrations since the 30s, and schools were forced to close in Dakota of the southern variety. Now, this is all terrible, you're probably thinking, but aren't droughts and heat waves two different things? Well, yeah, it's just that this particular drought happened to coincide with one of the most stunning heat waves since 1936. It's estimated that between four and 17,000 Americans died as a result. Adjusted for inflation, it's the third costliest natural disaster in US history behind Hurricanes Katrina and Harvey. Wow. 2016. Okay. In many ways, I've lived two lives, one in Britain and one in America, and a third one in an alternate universe where I have marginally better teeth and go by the name of Emma, but we don't talk about that. The 2016 Southwest heat wave is the only one included on this list to have occurred during my second life as a US resident. The good thing was, it was 2,000 miles away. During the month of June, temperatures in the states of California, Arizona, and Nevada looked more like supercentenarian statistics. You had numbers like 110, my age in Time Lord years, all the way up to 125. That measurement was taken in Needles, California, a place that has literally never been hotter. Of course, California knows a thing or two about heat waves. Not only is the state frequently riddled with droughts and wildfires, it's also home to the hottest recorded temperature the world has ever known. The year was 1913, the place Death Valley, and this was not the beginning of a vampire novel. On July 10th of that year, the temperature maxed out at 134 degrees. It happened before. It will happen again. Just please not in 2020. That's it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying the warm weather while remaining safe. And God, this is making me feel thankful, man. I'm not going to lie. Let me just see again. So hottest temperature. I want to know the hottest temperature. In the is that just the hottest it's ever been? How is 40 degrees the hottest it's ever been? What? Scotland's hottest ever. What? Oh, is this by the year? Lowest temperature ever, minus 26. In 1982, what? It's not even that long ago. How the hell did it get so cold in England? What the? F Damn, I didn't realise it could get that cold here. Especially in recent times. Wait, so the hottest day ever in... Northern Ireland's history is 31 degrees. How is that the hot? Is that the, I didn't know Northern Ireland was that cold. What? Oh damn, that is cold. What about like Sweden, like Scandinavia? Because I swear it gets quite hot there at certain points. Thirty-six point eight. Um. Now I'm going to go on a little different search spree. Romania, my girlfriend's country that she's from. I know it gets hot there. So the hottest temperature there was 44.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the US is actually just stupid hot. What about Australia? Because it's, it's winter there now, isn't it? So, so the hottest day there was 50 degrees Celsius. What's Sydney? Sydney weather. Wait, how do you put Sid? 
Not Sydney weather. It's nine degrees. It's, it's winter there, so it's not gonna flip in. Let's see. Let's see Dubai then. Fuck it. I want to compare some like really hot places to, mate. <laughs> so it's hot. Arizona or oh, Phoenix is hotter than Dubai. What? Um, Cairo. Fuck it. Let's just try and think of some other places. 34, 37. Okay. Flipping hell. Lagos. Oh, it's nowhere near as hot. I mean, I don't. I don't know if it's. Wait, Portugal. Okay, so it's storms. I guess there's storms happening there. What about um. Delhi. In terms of hot weather, this is probably the worst place to be when it's hot. I'm going to be honest. God damn. Okay, now let's just see Los Angeles weather. Oh, so it's not actually that hot there. It's Phoenix. I mean, maybe I'm just looking at the hottest place. Phoenix is just ridiculous. What about Las Vegas? I mean, it's late in the... Oh, wait, I forgot it's late in the US. So, of course, it's going to be colder. Okay, so yeah, this is like... So is Phoenix the hottest city in the US then? It must be, because look at these temperatures. And when I looked last year and it was the same. I, kept, I think I looked quite a few times last year. And it was always over 40. These poor people, man. Hottest US city. Okay, so Phoenix is the hottest. Orlando. Wait, what's Miami temperature now? Oh, it's raining there. Damn. Okay, what about London? Because London's... I think London's probably the UK's hottest city. Uh, it's not actually that. I mean, it's, it's not cold. It's actually quite warm, to be fair. You look at that, and it looks... All right, but yeah, London's always the hottest. What about Norwich, my city? It's like 20 plus every day. I know that. Yeah. See, this is all right for me. But even now, like, sitting inside, sweating myself off. My windows have to be shut when I record. It's just not fun, man. But you look at this and then you compare it to like <laughs> Phoenix. And it's like, oh, man, these poor people. But um, yeah, I don't know. But hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And yeah, this is just a little search extravaganza at the end of the video but yeah that's that until next time like subscribe peace